The fact is, thyroid cancer has become one of the most common cancers for firefighters. Wearing a dirty or contaminated hood may be one of the reasons for this increased cancer risk. While correlation does not necessarily imply causation, our protective hood directly contacts our skin in the neck area, the same area where our thyroid is located. Simply stated, a protective hood that is not maintained clean allows contaminants on our hood to be absorbed by or through our skin every time the protective hood is worn. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Predictable is preventable. Wash your protective hood following every exposure to minimize your risk. Most firefighters have several protective hoods, so it's unlikely that you will need to wear a wet or damp hood. However, a recently washed hood can be safely worn even when wet. A routine response, such as a food on the stove, is enough to contaminate the protective hood to a degree where it should be washed. Overheated pots and pans often release carcinogens in the soot and gases that are produced. We must change the practice of always wearing the protective hood around our neck, such as during a non-fire response, or during the colder months, or during neck warmer season. While washing your hood, be sure to wear medical gloves, as this will minimize absorption through your hand. Your thyroid is shaped like a small butterfly, and it is found inside the lower front of your neck. It has glands that control your metabolism. It also releases hormones that direct many functions in your body, including how you use energy, how you produce heat, and how you consume oxygen. Thyroid cancer develops when cells change or mutate. The abnormal cells begin multiplying in your thyroid, and once there are enough of them, they form a tumor. If it is caught early, thyroid cancer is one of the most treatable forms of cancer. In the early stages, there are very few symptoms, however. As it grows, the following may be symptoms neck or throat pain, a lump in your neck, difficulty swallowing, vocal changes, hoarseness, or a cough. Ultimately, it's up to each of us to take personal responsibility to maintain our equipment and ourselves in optimal working condition. This includes our health and safety. The few minutes you take now to best protect yourself will pay dividends long into the future. Your future self will thank you.